Hi everyone, I am back with another topic solving second order linear differential equations with constant coefficients. Today we will first define what are such differential equations. We will also see what are different cases which arise while solving them and then solve some problems. So let's begin. What if we are given a second order homogeneous linear differential equation y2 dash plus py dash plus qy is equal to 0 where p and q are some constants and we have to find the solution. What will we do? We'll start by assuming y is equal to e to the power mx. The reason being every time we differentiate y we will be getting the term e to the power mx. The first derivative of y you can see is m e to the power mx y2 dashes, the second derivative is m square e to the power mx. Each one of them has the term e to the power mx and it can be easily pulled out. When we substitute y, y dash and y2 dash in the given differential equation and take e to the power mx common, we will get two terms. First term m square plus pm plus q and the second term e to the power mx. As this is zero and you very well know e to the power mx can never be zero. So, m square plus pm plus q becomes 0. This is a quadratic equation. It's also called an auxiliary equation. We solve this equation for the roots of m. Let us say the two roots are m1 and m2. For solving this, we use the same old formula minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. For us, a is 1, b is p and c is q we get the two roots m1 and m2 from minus p plus minus root of p square minus 4q upon 2. We get the two solutions y1 and y2 from y is equal to e to the power mx by substituting the roots m1 and m2. A lot depends on the value of p square minus 4q. We get three cases. Case 1, when my roots m1 and m2 are distinct. This will happen when p square minus 4q is positive. Then my two solutions will be e to the power m1x and e to the power m2x. We say these are linearly independent. Why so? If I take e to the power m1x as c times e to the power m2x, bring the term e to the power m2x, on the left we will get e to the power m1 minus m2x as c. You can see the left hand side is a function of x. So c is a function of x and not a constant. So we have y1 is equal to a function of x times y2 and so they are linearly independent. General solution yg is found from the formula yg is c1 y1 plus c2 y2. You have y1 as e to the power m1x and y2 as e to the power m2x. Put them in yg your general solution will become y is equal to c1e to the power m1x plus c2e to the power m2x. Whenever we have m1 and m2 as two distinct roots, we use this formula. Case 2. When my roots are distinct complex roots, this will happen when p square minus 4q is less than 0. Say the roots are a plus minus ib. We'll take m1 as a plus ib and m2 as a minus ib. So the first solution will be y1 is equal to e to the power m1x. Put m1 as a plus ib. Split the terms. We get e to the power ax, e to the power ibx. Use the Euler's formula for e to the power ibx. We will get y1 as e to the power ax cos bx plus i sine of bx. And on taking m2 as a minus ib, the second solution comes out to be e to the power ax cos bx minus i sin bx. Both the solutions you can see have imaginary terms. But we are looking for real solutions for our differential equation. So what we do to find that we add the two solutions divide by 2, subtract the two solutions divide by 2i. This helps us in getting rid of my imaginary part. And hence the two solutions become y1 is e to the power ax cos bx and y2 becomes e to the power ax sin bx. General solution is y is equal to e to the power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin of bx. Case 3, when my m1 and m2 values are equal, we get repeated roots. This will happen only when p square minus 4q is 0. We have only one root e to the power mx. But we have done in our previous video when one solution is known, we can always find the other solution because you need two solutions. 
How do we find y2, the other solution? Using the formula vx is integral 1 upon y1 square e to the power minus integral px dx. When we substitute y1 and solve the integral, we get vx as x. y2 is always vx times y1. This gives me y2 as x e to the power mx. So y1 is e to the power mx and y2 is x e to the power mx. The so general solution becomes c1 y1 which is e to the power mx plus c2 x e to the power mx. This was our y2. Let's come to some examples. We have to find the general solution of the differential equation y2 dash minus 9y dash plus 20y is equal to 0 in our first example. We will substitute y is equal to e to the power mx, y dash is m e to the power mx and y2 dash is m square e to the power mx in our differential equation which will give us the auxiliary equation as m square minus 9m plus 20 is equal to 0. Solve this, we will get 2 distinct roots 5 and 4. So this is our first case. We will use the general solution and it will be y is equal to c1 e to the power 5x plus c2 e to the power 4x. In the second example, we have asked to find the general solution of 2y2 dash minus 4y dash plus 8y is equal to 0. Here, the auxiliary equation after substituting y, y dash and y2 dash becomes 2m square minus 4m plus 8 is equal to 0. Divide by 2 all over. Solve the quadratic, we get the imaginary roots 1 plus minus i root 3. Here clearly a is 1, b is root 3. Use the formula for case 2 and general solution will be y is equal to e to the power ax. a was 1. So e to the power x, c1 cos of bx, b is root 3. So we get cos of root 3x plus c2 sine of bx. Again, we take b is equal to root 3x. So this is the general solution. In the third example, we are given the differential equation y2 dash minus 4y dash plus 4y is 0. We get the auxiliary equation m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. After substituting y, y dash and y2 dashes as we did previously, the two roots come out to be 2 and 2. These are repeated roots. So we use the formula for what we had in our case 3. Y, the general formula is y is equal to e to the power 2x c1 plus c2x. In the fourth example, we are asked to find the particular solution of the differential equation y2 dash minus 6y dash plus 9y is 0. We are given initial conditions y0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 is equal to 5. We again find the auxiliary equation in the same way. The two roots are repeated roots 3. General solution is y is equal to e to the power 3x bracket c1 plus c2x. As we have to find the particular solution and we are given initial conditions y and y dash at 0, let's differentiate y. We will get the first derivative as 3e to the power 3x c1 plus c2x plus c2e to the power 3x. Substitute x is equal to 0 in both y and y dash and solve. We'll get c1 is 0 and c2 is 5. Put c1 is 0, c2 is 5 in our general solution. This gives the particular solution y is equal to 5x e to the power 3x. Let's come to a different type of differential equation known as the Euler's equidimensional equation. x square y2 dash plus px y dash plus qy is equal to 0. Here, the coefficient of y2 dash is a function x square. And for y dash, we have the coefficient as px. For such an equation, we use the substitution x is equal to e to the power z. Take log on both the sides, you'll get z is equal to log x. Now, you know that y dash is dy by dx. We can write dy by dx as dy by dz, dz by dx. dz by dx, we can find from z is equal to log x, which comes out to be 1 by x. So, you get y dash as 1 by x dy by dz. Differentiate y dash once again. With respect to x, you get y2 dash as minus 1 by x squared dy by dz plus 1 upon x squared d2y by dz squared. Substitute y, y dash and y2 dashes in the given differential equation. You will get a new differential equation d2y by dz squared plus p minus 1 dy by dz plus qy is equal to 0. You can see this is a homogeneous differential equation of second order with constant coefficients p minus 1 and q. So we can use the method we just did for solving it. Let's come to an example which will 
clarify how we use this formula. We have to find the general solution of 2x square y2 dash plus 10xy dash plus 8y is equal to 0. And we are asked to use the substitution x is equal to e to the power z. Now, your differential equation after dividing all over by 2 reduces to x square y2 dash plus 5xy dash plus 4y is equal to 0. Here p is 5, q is 4. Use the formula we had just derived derived and substitute p and q. We'll get d 2 y by dz square plus 4 dy by dz plus 4y is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation comes out to be m square plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. We get repeated roots minus 2. So the general solution is y is equal to e to the power minus 2x bracket c1 plus c 2 z. Now substitute z is equal to log x. The solution will be y is equal to e to the power minus 2 log x bracket c1 plus c2 log of x. Take this minus 2 as a power of x. This is the solution you get. Let's come to a general form called the Cauchy-Euler's equation. ax square y2 dash plus vxy dash plus cy is equal to 0. Now this is a general form and Euler's equidimensional equation is a particular case of this equation. If I take a is equal to 1, we will get the Euler's equation. For this, we take the substitution y is equal to x to the power m. Derivative will be m x to the power m minus 1. Second derivative y2 dash will be m m minus 1 x to the power m minus 2. Substitute these derivatives and y in your given differential equation a x square y2 dash plus b x y dash plus c y is equal to 0 and pull out the term x to the power m. You will get two terms, first one x to the power m, second one a m square plus b minus a m plus c is equal to 0. As this x to the power m cannot be 0, if x to the power m is 0, it means x is 0 and we will be getting y is 0. So, we get a trivial solution which we don't want. This means we will take a m square plus b minus a m plus c is equal to 0 as our auxiliary equation and solve for the roots and apply the method we have been using. Again, three cases will arise. First case, when m1 and m2 are distinct roots, then the solutions will be x to the power m1 and x to the power m2. And general solution will be y is equal to c1 y1, which is x to the power m1 plus c2 y2, which means c2 x to the power m2. You can, if you compare it with what we had done in the beginning, here our solution is y is equal to x to the power m. So we've replaced e to the power mx by x to the power m. In the second case, m1 and m2, let us say, are distinct complex roots alpha plus minus i beta. In this case, we get two solutions y1 as x to the power alpha cos of beta log of x and y2 x to the power alpha sine of beta log of x. When we substitute in the general solution, y comes out to be x to the power alpha c1 cos of beta log of x plus c2 sine of beta log of x. I am skipping the explanation part here due to time constraint. Come to the third case. When the two roots are equal, then the general solution is y is equal to c1x to the power m plus c2x to the power m log of x. So, for such equations, we will use these formulas. Let's come to the last example. Here we are asked to find the general solution for of the differential equation 4x square y2 dash minus 3y is equal to 0. Again, we take the substitution y is equal to x to the power m use its derivatives, substitute in the differential equation which will give me x to the power m a m square plus b minus a m plus c is equal to 0. Take a to be 4, b to be 0 because we don't have y dash term and c to be minus 3. We will get x to the power m 4 m square minus 4 m minus 3 is equal to 0. As Explained earlier, we do not take x to the power m as 0. So, the quadratic 4m square minus 4m minus 3 is equal to 0 is used and we get two different roots, distinct roots 3 by 2 and minus half. We use the first case and get the general solution as y is equal to c1 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c2 x to the power minus half. Uh, just a quick uh, note, for the question we had done 
for finding the general solution of this Euler's equation, the general formula we have just done here can also be used. Thank you for watching. For other courses, you can check my website www.profprithivajpay.com. The next topic we will be covering is method of undetermined uh, parameters. See you guys.